Items related to the notorious Jack the Ripper case have come to light for the first time in an auction. The previously unknown lot of items will be offered at auction by Witten and Lang in Exeter, Devon on March the 22nd. All of the fascinating assortment belonged to a police officer who worked on the intriguing unsolved series of slayings in 1888. He was Inspector Joseph Henry Helson, 1845 to 1920, and the items were passed down through his family down the years. Ahead of the auction, they are currently in the possession of his great-grandson. Helson joined the Metropolitan Police as a constable in 1869 and achieved promotions in the force until he retired as an inspector in 1895. At the time of the first Ripper murder of Polly Nichols on August 31st, 1888, the lawman was acting inspector in J Division and took charge of the investigation. He also assisted in the second slaying and attended inquests of some of the other victims. After retiring from the Metropolitan Police, he returned to his roots in Devon and worked for the railways. Perhaps the most important part of the auction hall is a newly discovered faded photo of Polly Nichols, which differs from the well-known mortuary image and is taken from a slightly different angle. Other photos include that of one of the galaxy of Ripper suspects, Michael Ostrog, and includes notes listing his aliases, criminal history and physical appearance. The inclusion of this image is significant because it implies that the investigating police took his candidature for the crime seriously. However, Ostrog, a thief and conman who was a regular prison and mental asylum inmate, was apparently locked up in a prison in France at the time of the Ripper spree. He was described as the last and least plausible of three suspects mooted by Sir Melville McNaughton in his eponymous 1890s memorandum. McNaughton was assistant commissioner of the Met from 1903 to 1913. The trove features some other grisly trinkets, like facsimile copies of the largely debunked Dear Boss letter and Saucy Jackie postcard. The letter was written to the Central News Agency in London on September 27, 1888, from someone claiming to be the assailant. It was signed Jack the Ripper, the first time the name that has echoed down the decades was minted. The so-called double event offing of Elizabeth Stride and Catherine Eddowes took place just three days later. The Saucy Jackie postcard, complete with crimson stains, arrived on October 3rd, 1888, and referred to the letter and the double event. Other items include the policeman's handcuffs and photos of him and other officers. The auctioneer's website says there is no estimate for the lot, but a figure of £10,000 has been mooted. I suspect that it will sell for considerably more than that. The auction listing read... Jack the Ripper, a collection of original artefacts relating to Inspector Henry Helson and the Jack the Ripper murders. 1. A sepia mortuary photograph of the first victim, Mary Nichols. This seems to differ from the known photograph as the angle of the image is very slightly different. 2. Two photos of the suspect, Michael Ostrog, with notes to the reverse listing three of his aliases, criminal record and physical appearance. 3. Facsimile copy of the Dear Boss and Saucy Jack letters, cut and pasted onto two sheets of paper. These appear to have been cut from the broadside printed in 1888. 3. A pair of handcuffs owned by Hewson. 4. Portrait photos of Hewson and two of his colleagues. 5. Hewson's Metropolitan Police Retirement Certificate. 6. A reference letter to Hewson dated shortly before he joined the Met. 7. A walking stick with silver collar inscribed to Hewson. And finally, eight, an 1895 newspaper cutting about Hewson. So how much do you think the lot will go for? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share, and most importantly, subscribe. And you can also support the channel on Subscribestar via the link in the description or via YouTube Super Thanks. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.